Hello, this is Trinant, and I've just finished the exploitation phase in the last actual phase of the Axis Turn 1 in Case Blue and Gadurian Split Creek 2, part of the Operational Combat series. So, what does that entail? Well, the exploitation phase is units that did well in the combat phase or were put in reserve can do a movement in a second kind of movement combat phase. So, it's basically a double turn uh, moment. People that won combat really well and got the exploitation mode, a bonus mode they can be put in, get to move at half their movement allowance and do combat. Reserve modes get to move their full allowance and do combat. Aircraft can also fly around. I didn't do too much of that. Probably should have. But I, I just... I uh, want to get this turned over with in some sense, and I don't want to uh, mull over some details. We'll just say some generals were really stupid uh, when they didn't use all their aircraft. How about that? So I put red markers down for where all the interesting exploitation stuff happened. Notice I still have some units in reserve mode. That's because they're going to wait to see what the Russians do during their turn and try to react if needed. And they're going to try to stay behind um, the front so that uh, enemies will attack the reserves who are going to be weaker if they're attacked. So right here I attacked with this um, infantry division, this 24-3, against um, these now disorganized guys. Let's zoom out here to take a look. So you can see these taken a step loss. I shouldn't be able to inspect that as the axis, but um, basically, I've damaged some people. I didn't manage to destroy them, but I did make them retreat. And so the um, Axis advanced forward over here. I was going to do some exploitation combat, but I decided against it because uh, the odds were probably not in my favor. I would have to fight all across the river into a town. That's just no bueno, not without a bigger assault. In fact, it wasn't even a town, it was a major city. A minor city, sorry. But a minor city is even worse to fight in. Nope, gonna wait on that. Over here, I think I had some fantastic luck, though I did um, have to put the six Panzer in the low ammo mode, uh, or have to eat into their internal stocks. That's not a mode, like all the other ones are. Instead, what I did was put them in low ammo uh, state and to spin my attack and I basically tore up that spot that had like a headquarters and some troops in it and all that's left of it is this disorganized stack right here if I recall they had to retreat to a way and there's a division there that's half strength and uh, headquarters there so I basically destroyed the supply right here pinning these guys in these hedgehogs, and uh, the, basically I'd ruined the supply lines for a lot of people. So that should be fun for the Russians to try to figure out. Then again, they could probably annihilate some of the people behind the lines. We'll see how that turns out. I'm interested to see what the Russian turn looks like. Over here, had a relatively similar thing. I had to, ex I already did some below um, I already went into my internal stocks to do some uh, attacks with some overrun combat and then I further went into exhausting some stocks um, to basically advance twice. I did some overrun in the exploitation movement phase step. Sorry, step, not phase. And then I did uh, even more attacks in the combat, phase, combat segment and that drove away that HQ, who's now disorganized, so now there's no HQ supplying these guys, meaning they're going to have to go into their stocks to attack and they can't move. It's just going to be glorious. Uh, this whole thing... Basically, I moved some units from reserve in the exploitation phase, but I didn't actually attack with them. I just extended my line farther down. Um, and so basically that's what this is, just people advancing farther into various towns. Um, yeah, that's that part. 
Uh, nothing over here, but over here, you can see that things are stretched way out. Um, these guys can't even be supplied, but they're going to probably try to go that way. Have some troops going this way. I think I tried to fight and it didn't really go anywhere. And then... Um, so I moved some reserves out here, and because they don't have to worry about supply until the next um, supply phase, which is after some movement, I can make some truck extenders and further my supply out there and kind of dominate this field if uh, the Russians don't interfere. So hopefully the Axis can do that pretty well. Or not, we'll see. Over here I had kind of a miracle. I rolled like two 11s in a row, and this dinky little... Uh, Battalion of Recon, um, the 25th Motorized Recon, um, managed to attack like a full division essentially and take it down. Or they fought a cavalry brigade or something, took it down, and the Russians, um, like a regiment, it's like a 10 to 1 troop odds or something nuts. And then the headquarters. Um, but then these guys had to retreat, and that uh, denied the um, extra damage the headquarters could have, would have had to take. Because either that or they would sacrifice themselves, which would have gotten nothing on their result either. If I had more troops there, I could have taken a step loss and made the headquarters retreat or something. But as it stands, I just did some damage. Which is not bad. Not bad for you, little, little counter. I kind of... Here, just... Um, Good job. Okay. So you may think, well, gee, that was all of the uh, Gadarian's Screed 2 map. What about Case Blue? Amusingly enough, I had no exploitation mark uh, exploit markers, and I didn't want to move any reserve markers. I kept them all in their reserve, their respective reserves, and um, for the reaction phases. And really, uh, so Case Blue, I amusingly enough. Um, has no exploit maneuvering, though I could have moved my aircraft bombers around. I'm going to just keep them, leave them be. They can't be attacked or anything, so really, and uh, they're all inactive anyway, so no, I actually have been using my aircraft. whoop de doo So, that's the first player's turn of, of game turn one on Guderian's Blitzkrieg, plus Case Blue, the Operation Typhoon, north and south. The Russians will be going next. I will be doing a cleanup phase, which I'm not going to show because it's literally just removing all the game markers that need to be removed and uh, resetting the board to somewhat for the uh, Russian player to go. And then we'll do the Russian uh, turn, starting with their aircraft refit phase. Might show that off because it does act. There is actually some decisions, arguably there, and some uh, stuff that can happen. It's not going to be a full video though, because it's just really simple. So yeah, war games, Baka dice.